Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at Google Keep, um, but this is more a look at how I use Google Keep as part of my writing process. So in an earlier video, I talked about Google Keep in the browser and how I use it to save thoughts and organize thoughts uh, and then archive them for later. And I talked about some of the ways that you can take notes or add bookmarks or add images you can save content you can have checklists you can have hyperlinks but you can save a lot of ideas and content as a way to like idea generate but mostly you're looking at it as a form of sticky note or post-it note um, a digital multimodal post-it note across your browser and your different mobile devices and what we're looking at here is if i'm sitting at my computer and i'm in the browser as I've said in the past, most of my writing occurs in a Google Doc or in some sort of online space. I'm trying to massage my writing process so everything lives in a Google Doc or a variant of that. And recently I saw an update to Google Keep and Google Docs that basically created a middle ground that is important for me in my writing process. So if you go in and you try out, if you search for Google Keep, you can see that we have the Android, the iOS, Chrome version, and web version. If I'm logged in right now to my web version, uh, you can see basically I'm signed in. I'm not in my institutional account. Um, what I can do is I can get rid of this because I've talked about a lot of that in the past in the previous video. And what I want to do is I want to look at a recent document that I worked on for a couple months, uh, an important document, basically a narrative of my work. It's a 10-page document that I have to basically write about all of the work, the research, teaching, and service that I've conducted over the last two, three years at my institution. So there's a lot of massaging different elements and adding things, deleting things, adding things, deleting things, revising, making sure I'm under the 10 page limit. Um, and so a lot of going back and forth trying to make sure that this all makes sense and it's perfect. And so what I noticed is, you know, there are parts of the paper that I would delete over time. Now typically when I work in a Google Doc what I'll do is I'll leave a line at the bottom of the document and if there's anything that I might remove instead of deleting it I'll copy paste it to the bottom and save it for later. So that's part of my writing process and a, and a process that I use as I work on materials with colleagues. The other thing is with the uh, narrative and also the folders for the narrative there's a lot of things I needed to um, there's a sequence and a naming mechanism for all of the content. Okay, so you could see these two different types of notes here. So I have a note here that is content that I want to make sure that I address, um, you know, in my narrative. I have, um, as I was writing, I would open up a new note in Google Keep. So instead of having a new Google Doc, I would say, okay, well, what are my two lines of research or what are, you know, what are my theoretical perspectives? Um, you know, what are elements I want to make sure I have in my narrative? And I want to make sure that I have it written the way that I want to see it in my narrative. Um, I also have, uh, and here's other examples of this. So I, I have not only uh, pieces of my narrative that I had written, but then I have uh, comments that a colleague gave me or other people gave me that I want to make sure I address. So as I'm writing, I want to make sure that I definitely address this comment in my revisions to my document. Also, as I said, there is uh, there are uh, very specific guidelines for how you want to organize your folders and your documents. Okay, and I wanted to make sure I hit everything. So I, instead of having a, a post-it note or a Google Doc or anything else, what I did is I set up a checklist in Keep with exactly what I need to have and exactly the right naming mechanism. And as I create things, I can go over and sort of check it and make sure that it is done. Um, and so I can check all things as they're done. And what's also important is that I can go back and I can see, okay, what is the exact name of that document so that in my narrative I can indicate the right title so that it's easier for people to go see. Okay, so we have in Google Keep, we talked about this earlier, you have the checklist, you have the check boxes uh, if you don't know how to do that. So once we have those materials in Google Keep, what I'll frequently do is I'll have this tab open with all of my notes and I have a two screen setup. So sometimes I'll have this set up on a different screen so I can see all of my notes in one place. But then what I also noticed that Google Docs had an update where they would allow you to pull in notes from Google Keep. 
So they have a thing called a keep notepad. So if I'm here in this document, so once again, this is my uh, document for my narrative. Um, you know, I, I worked on this for a long time, uh, just submitted this last week. So if I go into tools, I have a lot of tools that you may have checked out, may not use. One of the tools that they have built in there is the keep notepad. So if I click on the keep notepad, the nice thing is that it pulls in this little sidebar that has all of the notes. Okay, they're the same notes that I have saved over here, but it basically pulls it right in next to the document. So yes, there's times that I'll have my tab open on a second screen, but there's a lot of times that I want to see it right next to the document so I can sort of add things over. So I can click on a note here and see what they say, and I can, you know, copy paste content right over to the note. Um, you know, if I want to, I can add this right over to the document. So I can click that and wherever I had that cursor dropped, I can paste in document that I can paste in content right from it so it makes it very easy for me to pull content right over from my notes in keep into my document as I'm writing so I mean this could be anything this could be a blog post this could um, you know be a, a narrative it could be a written publication and the nice thing is that I can have all of the content from keep from my notes in keep and I can pull things over so I can copy paste this note over this block of text if I want to I can just add the add it to the document I can delete it or open it back and keep um, and likewise it has all of the functionality of all of the other multimodal content all the images and text and audio and everything else and plus the hyperlinks so if I'm taking notes and I have a bunch of notes saved and keep of blocks of text or ideas or things I want to flesh out as I showed you before I can take a note and keep and I can add this right over to a Google Doc or vice versa I can go into a document as I'm writing and I can pull in text I can pull in images hyperlinks pretty much anything else so this is a real powerful way for me to keep track of all of my work um, and help me use those post-it notes those digital post-it notes as I write so once again this is if you're in a Google Doc you can go into tools as keep notepad originally this was part of their uh, Google Apps package uh, or whatever they're calling it now and now it seems like it has moved across to pretty much every uh, instance of Google Docs at least within the last like six to eight months so it's a real powerful tool I think you should check it out um, it's a tool that I love to use all the time and it really has helped me and my writing flow and my, my work process as I create content online so hopefully you like the video. Uh, by all means, subscribe if you want to see some more of this stuff. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, if there's anything I got wrong, which I'm sure there's a ton of it, leave me a comment in between. Uh, and if there's other things that you want me to try to unpack and explain and show you how I do things or figure it out for other people, let me know. Thanks once again.